India is one of the most uniquely distinct countries I've visited in my lifetime and for first time visitors can be overwhelming. However, in amongst the chaos of a country with well over a billion people, I learned one of the most important lessons about confidence which I think helps explain how happiness can grow confidence and how you can use this simple principle in building confidence in your own life. So before I get into the details of the story, it's probably worth giving a few details about myself as I've struggled with confidence my whole life and haven't always thought highly of myself. Confidence is something I've tried to build over the years but the experience I'm about to tell you helped me grow in a way that I wouldn't have guessed possible. You see, I was born and raised in the UK but I'm of Indian ethnicity which has had a large cultural influence on me. I'm a practicing Hindu and follow most standard customs in Indian culture, for example showing respect to elders by touching their feet when greeting them. Simply put, my Indian heritage continues to play a large role in my life and I was certain I'd be comfortable when travelling to India for the first time and integrating with the community there. And boy was I wrong. You see, despite my background, there are things about India which are significantly different to the UK, not least the environment where if you go to any city your senses are usually overwhelmed with the amount of people and noise around you. Now here's where I need to share more about myself for context. I'm introverted and grew up with social anxiety. Never mind that being British I automatically had cynicism injected in me at birth. Simply moving around the streets in India was a disaster waiting to happen. And initially this was a massive problem, I found that I was overwhelmed by the number of people around me. Personal space is something that's difficult to find in India and because people are so used to it, as a foreigner it's easy to feel people are invading your personal space all the time. For an introvert with social anxiety, it's nothing short of a nightmare. Add to this the amount of noise coming from the number of vehicles on the road and at times the stares of people who know you aren't from there and well, if you're like me, it's easy to feel like you're on the verge of a breakdown. The thing is, social anxiety often stems from a fear of how you perceive a particular circumstance and can lead to terrible self-confidence. In this particular instance when in India, I was initially overwhelmed by the circumstance I found myself in and thought my confidence was going to take a beating, but actually it turned out to be one of the most valued experiences I hold in my life. Here's the thing, and let me be clear this might not work for everyone but by being thrown into the chaotic world that felt alien to me, I quickly adapted and found my anxiety reduced significantly. You see, in this moment I reflected on the environment I was in and completely shifted my perspective. First, I quickly learned to focus my attention on specific things to control the overwhelm I initially felt, after which I thought about those things that made me uncomfortable. For example, on people invading my personal space, I affirmed to myself that if they were comfortable getting close to me then there's no reason I should feel discomfort, rather I should be grateful to them for feeling this way. After all, I don't want to drive them away from me, well other than maybe this guy. The same was for the stairs, which is something that a lot of foreigners struggle with when in India, as often in their country it's considered rude to do this. The thing is, I understood that the reason for the stares was simply that people were curious, and dare I say even interested, in me. And trust me, that's not something I get to say often. The whole process of reframing the situation and looking to understand the shift in behaviour soon helped me to come to terms with the whole dynamic of the environment, and you know what, I grew to appreciate that environment. You see, this is what I love about India, it's so busy it's never boring. My senses are constantly at work but rather than feeling anxious I grew to find it exciting. However, the thing that made the biggest difference for me was the people. In India it's easy to strike up a conversation with random strangers, often they don't hesitate to come to you. And as I spoke to them I felt an earnest and genuine feeling of interest and acceptance, which not only helped me feel more comfortable in coping with my anxiety, but instead helped me feel much more confident in myself. I enjoyed my interactions with them and as a result I understood I had many misconceptions that contributed to my anxiety and lack of confidence. Now my anxiety hasn't completely gone away, but today I'm much more confident in coping with it, and I've even applied this in other places such as back in the UK where I deal with social situations much better. I have developed my confidence significantly from this experience which in theory should have left me a broken wreck. So why is this? Before I delve deeper into the psychology of what's happened, if you're enjoying this video please drop a like and subscribe with the bell on for future content. 
Multiple factors helped my confidence in this circumstance. The first was that I reframed my perspective in coping with my social anxiety, using a technique commonly known as cognitive reframing or cognitive restructuring. You see, my anxiety was brought on by mostly false thoughts that came to me when faced with a situation with a lot of people and noise around me. Cognitive distortions if you will. By questioning and disputing these thoughts, I soon came to the conclusion that they weren't true and effectively replaced them with other thoughts. For example, that people were showing an interest in me rather than judging me. By managing my anxiety, I was able to more freely enjoy the conversations and interactions I had with people, meaning I was actually able to enjoy social situations. Now, what's interesting is that it's been found that people who interact with others actually feel happier. And levels of introversion or extroversion don't significantly make a difference in this regard. More so, conversations that hold greater depth and meaning contribute further to this sense of happiness. An important point to acknowledge, as people in India don't hesitate to start deep conversations when meeting new people. Pleasantries aside, I'd soon find myself swept up in a conversation about what my dream in life is, and working out the family tree of my ancestry to understand how I'm connected to everyone and everything, not least the person I'm talking to. Turns out, I'm pretty much related to everyone. The thing is, this leads us to developing confidence, as studies have found that happiness is linked to how confident a person feels. In this instance, I felt genuinely happy and that did wonders for my self-confidence. As mentioned before, I felt accepted and so my level of trust in sharing more about myself increased. This had a cyclical effect, as in doing so I would have deeper and more meaningful conversations which contributed to my happiness and came back to increasing my confidence even more. And that's how India helped me build my confidence. Your interactions with others are meaningful and shouldn't be underestimated. So go out there, meet people, talk to them and savour the moment. Sometimes a seemingly pointless conversation could go a long way to helping you feel happier and grow confidence, just as it did for me. Well, again, as long as we're not talking about this guy. <laughs>